Hello, in this video, I'd like to share with you how to create and use string and primary key in the Spring Data JPA and Hibernate. I am Nam Haming from CodeJava.net. So, uh, why using a string primary key in the database table or uh, why using a string ID field in an entity class? Uh, we can use a string binary key when text value is required instead of a numeric one and a text value uniquely identifies a row in a table no duplicates allowed the pros of using a string binary key is the database is similar no numeric binary key and text columns the code is also similar and the cons is that the values in a primary key cannot be updated okay now let me show you a code example so I have created a new Java Maven project for a Spring Boot application as you can see here for the dependencies I use a Spring Boot Starter Data JPA and MySQL Connector J for connecting to MySQL database and this is the uh, application uh, properties file the Spring uh, application configuration file in which I uh, specify data source uh, properties such as URL, username, password and the database schema name is testdb on localhost and note that uh, I also specify these uh, properties uh, for Hibernate and DDL auto okay okay and this is uh, my sql workbench and i created the schema test db and you can see as of now no tables in this uh, database okay now let me uh, code a new entity class user that maps to the users in the database so with Spring data jpi we use the entity annotation and use the table annotation to specify the mapping tables in the database and normally uh, we uh, have the id field in the entity class of type integer that maps to a numeric uh, primary key in the database Okay, so we declare some properties for the user entity class and normally we use the ID annotation and generated value annotation like this uh, for the ID field of type integer like this, you see but now uh, the email of a user uniquely identifies the user in the database so that means we can use the email as the ID field or the primary key in the database table so we can delete the ID field here and we specify the ID annotation for the email field and you can see the tie is a string and then we can specify the column annotation to uh, specify some uh, properties for the text column uh, such as the length is about 50 characters maximum length and the field name we also use a column annotation to specify that it should not be now here nullable equal false and the maximum length is uh, 60 characters for example okay so for uh, id field of type string that maps to uh, string uh, primary key in the database we just use a id annotation and column annotation if we want to uh, specify some additional properties we don't use the uh, generated value annotation because the type of the field is uh, string not integer okay and then i separate getters and setters for all the fields okay 
Okay, and then I create a new interface for a repository, user repository, and we extend uh, CRUD repository. And the type of the entity is user, and now the type of the ID field is uh, string. You see, user and string is not integer as usual. Okay, and then I call a new test class user repository test, and I use some annotations for data JPA test. Auto configure a database test database uh, replace equal none to uh, make to tell uh, Spring Data JP test uh, make changes to the database. Okay, and auto back equal false. Okay, and, and then I auto wire. An instance of uh, user repository here report and the first test method public void test list users. The method is empty now. So now I run, run this test method. Uh, so Hibnet uh, will create the database table users according to the um, entity class here. Okay, so run this uh, test method. Okay, and in the console view, we can see it uh, executed the uh, SQL create uh, table statement here. Create the user's table. Okay, now we can verify in MySQL Workbench here. Users table, columns, email enabled and name. Right click on the table, and you can see the email email column has data type is Vacha, and it is primary key, not na. Enable name. Okay, you see. Now select rows. Okay, no rows now. Okay, so far so good. So in this table, you can see uh, there's no uh, numeric ID field on numeric uh, primary column. It has the uh, string um, primary key column here. Okay, now let me update the test code. I write another test to test uh, adding a new user. Test add user. And because in the entity class it has the string ID field, uh, the values are not uh, auto generated, so we need to specify the value for the ID field explicitly here new user equal new user. And then we need to set email. For example, num at codejava.net and new user set enable status to and new user set name num I mean. Okay, and call repo save new user. And now run this uh, test method. Okay, successful, and you can see it executed the SQL uh, insert uh, into user table here. Now let me check in the user table here. You can see a new row inserted with the value for email enabled and name here. Okay, so far so good. Now let me update the test and list user method. Here, repo file or users users 
for each we print the details of uh, each user okay and in the user entity class we override the to string method to bring the details okay and now run this test list users method Okay, successful, and you can see it prints the username I mean, yeah. And now let me code another test method that uh, gets a specific user by ID field. Public void test get user. So now the user entity class has a string ID field. String ID equal num at code java.net and then we call repo file by id now uh, the parameter is a uh, string not integer as usual get it return it returns the user object print user okay and run Okay, you see it prints the details of the user file by the given email. Okay, so far I have shared with you how to use a string a primary key in the Spring Data JPA. Uh, note that uh, we use a string type for ID field in the entity class that maps with the string a primary key column in the corresponding uh, table in database and we use the ID annotation without uh, the generated value annotation for ID field in the entity class and we use string type for the ID in the repository interface I hope you found this uh, video helpful uh, please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching